How are we going everyone? Now you know I've been talking about Superfood forever and a day since we actually brought it out because it's a great product, it's a great um, organic fertiliser or castings, I should call it castings, made by a larvae which is the soldier fly larvae um, and look you can do some research yourself online you'll be able to see what the actual fly looks like, the adult that is, um, but also understand better what the larvae is and what type of grub it is. It's more in the sort of warmer regions of Australia, uh, not so much down in this colder region so they wouldn't survive that well over winter, I, I wouldn't think so. And they're naturally found on the forest floors feeding off the leaf moss that falls down leaf leaf matter, tree matter, even some vegetation that grows out of the ground. So needless to say, they'd love our fruit, fruit and vegetables that we have. So the team has been able to get this little insect, the soldier fly, and work where they can actually breed the larvae and then get it to feed off specific food, which is all the food waste that is collected around, at the moment, as far as I know, Victoria, receptions, garden centres, uh, restaurants, supermarkets that have, you know, vegetation that goes to waste other than digging it in the ground. They actually collect this, break it down, they chop it up and start to feed it. Now, what is it exactly? Well, I've got some beautiful samples here. If you were listening on 3AW, I took this into Darren the other day. He had a look at it and he um, was a little bit astounded and a little bit shocked because uh, I made him eat one of them. <laughs> so what we've got here from the day of being laid the egg, that is, seven days old, these are neonates. They're tiny little larvae and they're all alive, as you can see now. Now these little creatures here, then unlike in maggots that love and feed off meat, these feed off leaf matter, vegetables and things like that. Now that's seven days old, 14 days later or 14 days into their life cycle, have a look at them now. Look how much they've grown, sorry, from seven days. In one week, let me just get this one ready, can you see the difference? Look at the size. That is huge, that's so much growing and they do, they do a lot of eating. I reckon these can be territorial, so once they actually find their space and they start to po uh, populate, not many other little critters can actually feed as fast as these do. Jeez, he's active. Sorry about that. He's running off everywhere. Now, these aren't a bad thing to have in your garden. And why I say that is uh, because they'll actually break down the compost even quicker. Now from the 14 day old, we've got a pre-pupa uh, stage, which is they go from this light colour to this dark colour. Have a look at that. And they're alive as well. So they're getting older and older. So this is maturity stage, almost. So this is just before they pupate. So that's that stage. Now this is when they pupate, or pupa uh, cycle. And see the end? It curls over, they're actually quite rigid now. So in here, if you was to crack this open, you'd probably find something really green, slimy, you know, alien-like looking, trying to work its way out from being a grub to having wings and legs and a head and a body, right? So they're at this stage. Now the life cycle is, if I'm not mistaken, five weeks, four to five weeks. So that's the pupa and from there the fly emerges, the adult fly. Now I'm not going to let these out yet but you can see how active they are. Let me turn this upside down. You may be able to see it better there. So they're not like a typical household fly or a blow fly. They're almost, they almost look like that of a, a wasp. They've got a long body like that of a wasp and very long wings. So the front half of it looks like a household fly. Then the back half is, it's been like, it's, it's a stretched limo or a stretched fly with the long wings. And they will go around looking for beautiful leaf mulch and, you know, organic matter breaking down where they can start laying their eggs and start the whole life cycle again. So this is the life cycle of the soldier fly. And here what we have, folks, have a look at this. Now these have been specially prepared for us. They've been washed, rinsed a couple of times, then blanched, and then vacuum sealed into here, which I've since opened, and they were frozen too. So these are, these are the soldier fly larvae that do this wonderful mix for us. This stuff here, which is what we call castings, or superfood is what we know it as, similar to what you have with your worms. Now worms produce beautiful castings and um, uh, worm juice and lots of microbes and bacteria they, they produce and breed for us as well. Now the soldier fly larvae have a very similar and very important element as far as 
coming to uh, recycling green waste for us as well. So what's happening here is we're actually closing the loop with all the waste that goes into landfill, folks. So what they're doing is collecting all the food waste and rather it going into some landfill and just causing more problems into our, into our environment, it's being turned into compost or castings or superfood. Now what we've done since then, we've blended it with our uh, black grit, so we've enhanced its ability and it is, a, it is literally a superfood for your plant life in the garden. Now one more thing, because these are vegetarians, as far as I'm concerned, they are simply delicious. Yes! Have you had any of these? I'll tell you something, they taste exactly like white bait. As long as they're not alive, I'm, I'm more than content to eat them. <laughs> Just the thought of it is hard, but once you get over the thought, they're quite delicious. Now, do you want one? Come on, come here, come, come here, come here. <laughs> Folks, I'm only showing you this now. I'm only eating it because the scientists, the entomologists and all that who did the research on these, eat them and you know, insects are becoming part of our food dietary, I suppose. I wouldn't recommend eating them every day, but until we know more about them. But at this stage, they are very clean, um, as far as we've done the research on, and very tasty as well. They taste exactly like white bait. I did these in a little bit of olive oil, no, actually peanut oil I used, and a pinch of salt over the top. Have a look at them, Wanna have a look. Thing about them is, they do shrink, but they also explode like popcorn. So be careful if you're gonna go down the path of cooking them and eating them, folks. So, soldier fly larvae is what produces our, our superfood with the added black grit into it, which enhances it. And as you can see, we're growing it directly in that stuff here, folks, like this. And the feedback that we received so far is very positive. So folks, get yourself some uh, superfood, and the best way to get them is to come and pick them up so you can avoid the delivery costs, because it is expensive to post out. Get it into your garden today, prepare your autumn seedlings, and at the end of the day, check out our website because we've got great garden products for you to enjoy and your plants to enjoy as well. Check it out at vasilisgarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi. Bye.